Building an automated workflow is challenging. You need to understand robotics, handling biological samples, extraction chemistry, and how to assess the extraction performance. In this video series, we dive into the fundamentals of creating an automated nucleic acid extraction workflow. You'll learn about nucleic acid extraction using magnetic particles and liquid handling robots, the foundational work you need before working with a robot, and how to build and troubleshoot an automated nucleic acid extraction workflow. Automated nucleic acid extraction workflows most often use magnetic particles that reversibly bind nucleic acids. These particles, also called magnetic beads, can be easily manipulated and controlled by a robot. Though specific reagents may vary, magnetic particle-based extractions follow the same four basic steps. First, a lysine solution is added to the sample, breaking apart cells and releasing nucleic acids into solution. Magnetic particles coated with a material that enables reversible binding of nucleic acids are added. The particles are washed, often with buffers containing ethanol, to remove salts, detergents, and remaining cellular debris while leaving nucleic acids bound to the magnetic particles. Finally, water is added to the particles, rehydrating and releasing the nucleic acids from the magnetic particles. The extracted nucleic acids are now ready for downstream analyses like PCR amplification. This chemistry can be automated using programmable robotic operations. There are robots that move the magnetic particles between different solutions, called particle movers. A second type are called liquid handlers. How does a particle mover robot work? Particle movers attract magnetic beads to a magnetic rod. The beads are moved with the rods to wells pre-filled with extraction reagents. When the beads reach a well, magnetization stops and the beads are released. Mixing disperses the beads. Then the rod is remagnetized and the beads are moved to another well. For liquid handlers, liquid reagents are added to and removed from wells. Magnetic beads are magnetically immobilized inside the well. For the rest of the video series, we'll focus on liquid handler robots. However, many of the principles will still apply to particle movers. A liquid handling robot carries out four basic functions during an automated extraction workflow. Liquid moving, magnetization, mixing, and temperature control. You'll need to understand robotics and magnetic bead-based extraction chemistry before creating an automated nucleic acid extraction workflow. A molecular biologist can easily troubleshoot poor reagent mixing during a manual extraction with a viscous sample. But what would that look like on a robot? An engineer may know how to write a script that programs a robot with all necessary mixing, pipetting, and magnetization steps. But what steps can be optimized to troubleshoot a protein impurity? Whatever your background, this video series will help fill those potential knowledge gaps. Let's review part one. You learned the fundamental chemical steps of nucleic acid extraction using magnetic beads and the basic robotic functions that let you automate that extraction. Now, it's time to learn how to establish performance requirements and controls for your nucleic acid extraction before working with a robot. If you have any questions or need help with your own automation workflow, our team of field support scientists are ready to help. Learn more about this free service 